Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Hey, everybody listening to The Thing Is. I'm Shannon. Thanks for coming back to join us. Do you like ghosts and ghosts? Do you have fights and fights and? Do you have bad days days and? Do you like ghosts and ghosts? Oh, the thing is, oh, oh, the thing is, oh, oh, the thing is, oh, oh. Hey guys, this is Shannon. You're listening to The Thing Is. Thanks for coming back to join us. I'm here as always with hilarious comedian, my co-host, comedian Mike Figs. My left arm is numb. Oh, your mic uh, is numb. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, you're fired. My left arm is very numb right now. Are you going to die? I don't know. Just trying to get the blood back. Are in there me. tingles? Yeah, I can't feel my fingers. Mm. But you feel the tingles. I think we need the views. If I get a heart attack, <laughs> that's a good thing. All right, hang in there. <laughs> um, I see you. Uh, maybe you need a drink. Maybe, maybe yeah, that's, that's what, what it your is. your body's telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. We, we have some leftover from our power hour. By the way, a family episode. Family episode today. It's just Figs and I. That's it. And everybody in the booth. And uh, what we're doing today is, I don't know if you guys, <laughs> if you guys are listeners every week, you might remember that for Christmas, <laughs> we delayed our uh, gift exchange for a month. <laughs> and here we are in a, a little bit more than a month. The, smack in the middle of April. <laughs> is it the 15th? <laughs> yeah, smack in the 16th. <laughs> smack in the middle of April. And uh, we finally, we're going to do it today. Let's I'm not, it. I'm not thrilled with anything that I got. I'm not really thrilled except like one. I don't know what to say because I don't want to go like, oh, I think you're going to love them and then it. you don't like them. Yeah. So I'm just going to say it's better than last year, for sure. What did you give me last year? I got year? you a bottle of booze with scratchies on it. Oh, yeah. And I won $5. And you won 5 bucks. That's something. That's not bad. What did I get and you? you bought dice. me these awesome metal dice, and you bought me amazing Magic the Gathering glass. Oh, the shot glass. And it was very nice or and thoughtful. pint glass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of things before we do that. Let's do it. So first, um, we did our third power hour last week. <laughs> Ralph Sutton and Big J Okerson. What a what a time! What a great time! Oh, there's something I want to talk about, but I can't. Who's our sponsors Why? for this episode? Just curious. Oh, I just want to see who that is before I say what I'm going to say. It is. It is on the show. Okay, never mind. Does it rhyme say, with? No, don't, don't 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 even do it. Don't even do it. Never mind. Um, so <laughs> I will say that for those of you who haven't watched the episode yet, one of the four of us throws up. Oh, that's true. I'm not going to say who it is. Oh. Well, that <laughs> is true. I didn't realize. Is. I yes. didn't think that that person was going to do that. It could I thought that person was just had to relieve themselves in another way. Who knows? Well, now you're you're kind of giving away that it that it wasn't you by saying that. No, I, I could be talking to in the third, in the third person. person. I could be talking in the third person. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't think he had a drinking problem. First, or heart attack. first time, uh, first time vomit. Even though I've gotten close before, first time for real vomit on the show. Whoa. Um, so check that out. Go to gasdigital.com. If you're not a subscriber, use promo code TTI14, and uh, you'll get access to all three. Of our Power Hour episodes, uh, Luis J. Gomez, Zach Amico, and now Ralph Sutton and uh, Big J. Ogerson. It was fun. It was a good time. It was a great time. We went two hours, I think. We went an hour, 50 minutes. I don't even remember. We really it's blew just, right past the end. I remember sitting down. All these Power Hours, I remember the first five minutes. and then Oh, I, I remember, remember like the hours. first half. I also realized that like uh, my speech slurs <laughs> way before I'm ever really <laughs> drunk. And I think I said it in that episode where it's like after we blew the second time, I was like... I know I sound, I know it. I just can't control it. I lose control of yeah. my speech You're immediately. You're You're hanging out with your friends. You're chilling, you know? That's what happens. That's why we have to start doing ads before these episodes because oh, I feel sure. like I slur through them every single time. And I'm not really drunk at the end of these episodes. Someone needs to make a compilation of, of us just hammer doing the fucking, words. Just, yeah. just bad. Um, okay, so still so great time. And uh, I'm, we're considering doing them twice a month. Oh my God. We're considering it. I don't it. know. That's crazy. Because we do have someone booked for next week already. So we could technically do it twice this month. But then we have to book two for every month and get drunk. I'm going to really twice. need some Capsulite. That stuff is great. It works. Mm -hmm. Abs yep. Capsulite. It's going to help get you through. <laughs> it's going to help get you through. Oh, really? We're going to need some more Capsulite. Maybe some Kratom for my back pain and my heart attack, my heart palpitation. Oh, boy. Let me just take, take that all out. <laughs> Maybe okay. a little Delta A too. You Let's know. see. Let's see what's next. Uh, weight loss update. So this is the first. What do we start at last week? So this is one week into our weight loss competition. Um, I don't want to give like up any weight updates. We're yeah, not going to yeah. do that. But how has it been going for you? Well, I think that I was very bloated that day and I was wearing cargo pants. I think that if I was to strip right now and weigh myself, 
that I would probably be like two eighty seven. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking that. Is that two pounds difference? No, that's that's like that's like. Uh, I'm never gonna remember what you weighed in at, but I there weighed two ninety five, two ninety eight, or two ninety five. I weighed, so it would be like six pounds, so maybe like six seven pound different difference. Um, I just Wait, had a stroke. But um, <laughs> no, maybe it's over now. I just had a stroke. Yeah, I think Did okay. you get the feeling back? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. A, no big deal. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I I was really good for two days, and then I rubber banded, and then. I found myself drinking, and then it was a nice sunny day, and yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been. I'm going through a midlife crisis for sh- for sure. Um, a thir- third life. You're too young for a midlife crisis. I'm, prob- I'm gonna die like at 67, All so right. I'm like 34 now. So I think I'm like midway there. There's no way That's I'm going positive. past 67. This is a real strong start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless I really cut out like so, you know sodium and all that stuff. But I'm on the tr- I'm on the fast track to like Alzheimer's, cancer, Alzheimer's. diabetes. Yeah, I said it wrong. Alzheimer's. 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 Yes. Alzheimer's. 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 Spain. <laughs> Alzheimer's. What the fuck? Out? It's Alzheimer's. Uh, it's. Do you want to make it? Uh, okay. <laughs> do you want to bet money? <laughs> no. Okay. I was, just, I was trying to put down my male power. Like it's Alzheimer's. I thought you were gonna. Yes. Okay. But can no, you spell I'm not, the, I'm not you, the boss here. Can you spell it? A L T Z E I M E Y E R S. So you're acknowledging the Z. Yeah, I know there's a Z in it, but I'm not. I'm you don't an pronounce American. it. Silent yeah, I don't Z. Do that. I don't silent do no Z. Z's. No silent Z's. Forgot it. No Jewsies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, it's, wow. I'm just kidding. Is, is, is it Jewsies? Jewish? That's cute. Jewsies. <laughs> You're watching Jewsies here at Nickelodeon. Uh, yeah, no, but but I think I'm doing okay, but I don't know. I got to get a rhythm, and I had the rhythm, and then I lost the rhythm. So so have you have you made any changes? Or, I stopped or... eating bread in the morning. Okay. I go eggs and protein in the morning, but I still have a little bread at, at night time. So <laughs> okay. I, so Maybe this should be the other way around. Uh, no, I'm not helping you. I mean, you're That's right. You're yes, right. You Maybe should it should eat bread be. at night. Yeah, yes. I know. Yeah. yeah oh, no, bread at is, night. I have two more days to really dial in. If not, if I don't make it, if I don't do something these next two days, you're going to beat me by a landslide. But you don't think that like as we, because like I feel like for me, if there is like a, a goal that's like further out than like two weeks for me it may as well be 25 years from now yeah so that's how it for now that it's like still like almost two months away yeah i'm just like i've made changes but i'm not like going hardcore into what anything at this time what kind of changes have you made so um i am eating more like whole foods and okay. i'm incorporating more vegetables um a little bit less carbs drinking less and i'm meeting with my trainer Again, did I mention that last? That's week? probably gonna be the big one because you don't eat like a pig. You eat well. You're vegan already. I yeah, but vegan doesn't mean healthy. So you bag so, out a lot of cheese and stuff. I no, no, I don't eat cheese. Okay. I don't eat dairy. No, no, I'm still like vegan. Okay, but like you can eat bad. You can eat junk food. You can eat vegan junk food. Gotcha, gotcha. And gotcha. so like I was eating like a lot of just like easy like throw it in the air fryer, throw it in the microwave, like not healthy things. Gotcha. Like I really fell into a slump of just easy stuff instead of cooking. Okay. And so I'm um, so I'm going back to like cooking and like having like more like whole real foods. Tell me one thing that you eat that is really bad. That I would love. That's vegan. Oh, like like um chicken fi- like fake chicken fingers. Oh, okay. So it has breading and flour and all mm-hmm. that stuff still. And Just it's no like chicken, no egg. Saturated fats probably has all that no, shit. Uh, no, I don't think saturated fats. Oh okay. wait, it's just no cholesterol, right? Vegan food doesn't have cholesterol. Maybe saturated okay. fat. Okay. It's not. Te- it's not terrible, but it's not like health food. Nutritious. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not real. Like, go, yeah. Um, but did I did I say that my trainer reached back out to me? Which one, did, big, big Diesel Poppy? Yes. Did no. I say that? So um, like two weeks ago, because you know I've been having this like shoulder injury mm-hmm. for a while, and I wanted to reach out to him, but I was like, how can I do anything if I can't like do any weight on this shoulder? Mm-hmm. And then he ended up reaching out to me, and he's like, hey, miss you, like haven't seen you in forever. It's been like months. Miss you? He said I miss you? No, but the, he's like, he, he's like he's cute. And not, it's not a flirty way. He's just he's like, a, he's, he's just jacked, a good, he's, cute, yeah. he's the best. Um, but he's the best like as, he's like a really yeah. good person person yeah. he turned out to be like a really decent human being and uh so he's like you know i just want to say like how you're doing and then he's like look he's like you have to get because i told him like i've been in a slump and depressed and shitty whatever and mm-hmm. he's like he's like i understand it but you have to be physically active because then it's going to make you feel better mentally and gave me this whole pep talk whatever he's like look let's just start out like a little bit he gave me like a deal on the prices he's like we'll start short whatever you can do and so we started last week just two half hour sessions super easy he didn't kill me at all yeah and my shoulder pain is almost completely gone. That's great. A lot of like stretching and kind of like yeah, yoga like stretching. Stuff. And he did like a little bit of weight on it, and yeah. I was terrified because whenever I just like even hold my bag on the shoulder, yeah. I'll be in pain the whole day. And it's 
it's almost completely gone. I, I, I had two bags in the shoulder today, so now I feel like a little bit, but it actually, so I was doing the wrong thing. I was favoring it too much. I was just doing no activity and now it's better. Anyway, not interesting. That's good. Though. But um, but yeah, so um, meeting back with him that's again. Like that old, that's like that old saying like, oh, you, you sprain your ankle, like walk on it. Walk yeah. it out off. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, walk it off. So yeah. you're probably Rub like. some dirt on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're like working your shoulder. Yeah. So that's, those are my main things. Just trying to, it just baby, tr- baby, baby, it's like that girl. You probably don't remember the video. It was the end of the episode. But the baby from the body cam video, she's like, baby. I need to see it baby. again. <laughs> Did she pull out like so a 24 funny. ounce beer out of her boobs or something? That's no, another you're thinking time. of a I'm different something. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, by then I was pretty yeah. gone. I had to rewatch the end of it to remember if we actually watched it or not. Because I know I had it prepared, but I couldn't remember. I just remember talking outside with Big J. And wondering, I remember and when wondering, I wondering like, yeah. am I, am I talking to him too much? And then I think about it, it was just him talking. <laughs> and I was just like, Jay likes Jay you. likes to talk, though. Yeah, I, I yeah. didn't know. I was like, am I creeping him out? And I was like, is he going to fuck me? He kept talking a lot. <laughs> Were lot. you I'm excited? Like, Maybe Jay wants to fuck me. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, Did did you fuck? No, we didn't fuck. Oh. We didn't fuck. We actually, say, he said a lot of meaningful things in terms of comedy and really inspired me. Yeah. And then okay. I went home and made a fucking sandwich that could have choked a horse. <laughs> good. And it was so good. Good. Oh, look at that. He, Rub just messaged me right now. Wow. We're just talking about him. His ears are burning. Uh-oh. Let's see. Uh-oh. All the stuff you're taking is perfect. Oh, so what I told... This is another thing I meant to mention because Jorge told me I was are cheating. Are you cheating? Are you taking supplements? Yes, I am taking supplements. That's cheating. It's not cheating. That's cheating. I would like to... In the chat, I want people in the chat to uh, weigh All right, in I'm going to take this. supplements. You can... T- bring, vi- it, bring on the cream I'm right taking now. vitamins. Bring on the fucking cream. How is taking vitamins... In a weight loss competition, cheating. Sorry, I thought you were taking steroids. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> I'm taking steroids. I thought you were taking steroids. And, uh, and I'm taking a fat burner. Okay. That's cheating. I, I don't drink coffee. Coffee's a fat burner? Yes. Coffee just makes caffeine, me shit and caffe- burp. Yes, caffeine burns fat. Oh. I don't drink any coffee. Do you drink coffee? I love coffee. So That's something I changed. No cream, nothing. I've been drinking black, 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 black coffee. So it only just puts us on an even playing field because I don't I don't drink caffeine. Okay. If I'm taking a fat burner, you drink coffee. Is this bad for us right now? Like, yeah, this isn't great. It's not great. Yeah. I don't you think know it's what, a lot of... It's so damn good. There's 100 calories. Mm. That's nothing. We're going to burn that off talking during this episode. Ruby grapefruit, so refreshing, especially in a nice day like today. You can keep the grapefruits. You don't like the grapefruit no. ones? I like the blackberry and the strawberry. You're an incel. Any... Got it, Harrington. <laughs> I am an incel. <laughs> Um, Harrington. Harrington is uh, playing. Oh, you have the baby Marvel video. Skin. No, not. Oh. Uh, I have. Uh, yeah, I have the video of the girl in the back seat. Okay, is it at the point towards the end where she starts calling him baby? It's where they're pouring water on her on her on her face after she's maced. No, no, no. I I have it. Just her. Dro- okay, let me. Now we get the shot. Turn. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's like the <laughs> last like third of it, but it's so freaking funny. And I I feel like nobody else's reaction when I played it was as what I feel when I watch it, but when she calls him baby, it really gets me. It's so funny, I feel like nobody else feels that way. I don't want to see myself on camera anymore. I just don't want to see it. Yeah, just have the camera on, I don't want to see, ew, I don't want to see myself either. (laughs) Gross. Let's just put on a reality TV show and (laughs) talk shit. Oh, okay, that's another thing I want to talk about. Okay. Um, Gary from The Golden Bachelor. Okay, dead. No, Okay. you're getting a divorce. You what? don't know about this? You don't know about this? No. Yes. Getting oh my god. <laughs> well, first off, I think she looked like a ghoul. She she wasn't the best. She wasn't the best. The other girl was was hotter. She was great. I but I think the other girl was maybe a little too, too thirsty. much and too young for him. I think he's like a old cat. He wants to relax. Here's my opinion is when they get to the end, yeah. whoever gets in their head too much about being nervous to lose them, yeah. they lose. I agree. And so because the other girl got in her head too much, yes. it seemed like she wanted him too much. The other one was like, hey, I mean, what are you going to do? And that's yeah. what drew him to her. Fuck. Because that's what happened this season too. Yes, Same thing. The I other agree. girl got in her head and then the one that was more confident won. That's true. That's true. I mean, the other the girl he picked, right, if we're going to go Bachelor talk. Guys, it's time for Bachelor things. If we're going to talk about those two chicks, the one with the the cold, the Q t- Nicole Q ear- earprint. What words are you saying? Is it another stroke? There was <laughs> it's your two strokes. The girl that had the Cole Q implants. What is it called? The Q <laughs> the Cole the Cole Gates. The Q Cole. What's it called? The Cole Ten. Cole Q implants. Right. Cole Q implants. The girl had the, the cochlear implants. The, the, for not the, ears? the cochlear. Yeah, yeah. The the girl yeah. that had the fucking. That's the right word. How do you say cockus? <laughs> The girl that had the barnacles in her fucking a brain. She it just clipped that just for me to have it. 
Heaven is it too far away? Wait, I say it again. The girl with the the cockles. You say it. Say it, you little guy. Say it. Oh God. Oh boy, I want that just for just for me. (laughs) Cochlear implant. Cochlear implant. Prance. It's cochlear. 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 Cochlear implants. (laughs) Cochlear. Cochlear implants. So that girl was a cutie pie, but you know. You gotta go like this to get her attention sometimes, because she, you know <laughs> no, what I mean. She She's, can't hear. That. All she hears is. <laughs> oh, and the boy. other girl stunning until she opened her mouth. She had like a donkey face, and her I nostrils knew. would flare like this. She was pretty. Imagine if I look like this. Would you let me be your co-host if I was like look like this all day? It's distracting. <laughs> it's fucking distracting. That's gross. So that one girl, whenever she smiled, she would be like she had like a donkey face. But when she had her mouth closed. Stunning. She was beautiful. They're gonna have beautiful. fun together. It's gonna yeah. be fun for a little bit of time. They're but, not gonna last. But she was totally relaxed. At least that's what we saw. Did you see that the? Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. I know everybody hates this. No one watches this. Real yeah. quick, the deaf girl. Yeah. Do you know that she was Go in clear a implants? Yeah, very good. Is Jorge whispering in your ear and I can't hear it? Is <laughs> he just put it into you? Thank you, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> she was in a music video, like in a rapper music video. I saw on Jared Freed posted it. Really? I don't even. I can't even think of her name. So it's. Impo- I'm not gonna even send Harrington Lindsay. on this wild goose chase. No, that's the other one. Oh. That's somebody else. What is Clara? her name? Daisy. 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 But I mean, you can try, but don't go crazy so trying to find it. She was in a rap video. Yeah, you can see her in the background of Shaking a rap ass? video. No, just or, or it was like just like dur- her or like derfing it up, like reading <laughs> no. breath. Derf. What would she do? It's not what deaf people no. do. <laughs> deaf people don't do bread. That's right. It's blind. Anyway, so <laughs> Gary and Teresa, three months after they're That's married, crazy, they're Bendy getting divorced. Oh my God. But a, she probably was, he probably realized that she was a lot because she looked like a lot. It seems like what they're what they're saying publicly yeah. is that um because she's from Jersey yeah like a New Jersey Jew yeah and he's from Indiana oh yeah and it's like as you get older like when you're younger it's easier to like up and move someplace else but they've got like grandkids yeah. kids they've got everything and they couldn't decide where to like up and move to they're still not living together like they're oh still living separately God. and so they're like you know what we're done but how much does it suck to like start again in your seventies at do this you, point do you think that they have a divorce just for like like in terms of like um, for like legal reasons they divorce, but they're like, hey, I love you, but we can't be married if we live in two separate places. Let's get a divorce. Well, wait, they never got married. They did get married oh, on they air. They did get married. That was the only marriage to ever be shown. Fuck. Well, except for like Bachelor in Paradise, but like they did air it. Yeah. I don't know. We it. don't know the documents. We don't know if they really got. I think they really got married. If they did get really, really get married, then maybe they just got a divorce because of location. I think Gary is probably getting like hit up, like his DMs are full. And he's he's like, like, why am I dealing with this? You think he's horny? You think he's, he's horny and able? I think so. That's pretty, that's awesome. And he's like sweet. He's like a sweet old man. It's such a. He's gonna do great. What if? What if they put him in Bachelor in Paradise? That'd be. Imagine he just starts like when he bangs out the girl Mm -hmm. with the Colgate implants. That'd be wild. (laughs) I know you can't hear me, but I can hear you. He has like such a nice way he talks to people. It's very sweet. Okay, so we did weight loss update, power hour recap. Um, I feel like no one's gonna care about this. If you don't mind, you could suck me off. Suck me. Oh, okay, I got one. I, I got it. Um, I, I did want to just, uh, I saw, I don't watch SNL really because yeah. it's not great. Yeah. But um, I it comes up on my Peacock, I think yeah. it's on. Yeah. And I saw that Ryan Gosling was on I for the second it. time. He is like, I, Jorge hears me talk about him all the yeah. time because I love him. Me too. And I don't, I, you know, everyone knows I love The Rock. Uh-huh. But secretly, I really love Ryan Gosling. Is I, there I a agree. more talented person? He's a beautiful man. Beautiful man. He's like six, he's at least six foot. He's he doesn't come off the six hot foot. As fuck. He's he can sing. Yep. He can dance. Yep. He can act. He's Probably, in a notebook. Yep. I mean, so he's like heartthrob. What I mean, what a perfect specimen. He is the man. And he has like this like nonchalant kind of Yes, like interviews. Attitude. He's yeah. like so likable. Yeah, I really hope we don't find anything bad about him ever. No, we can't. I it's can't. just some people just get all the things. Yeah. They're just born with all the things. And I understand hard work goes into it or whatever, but you have to be like He's probably not he's probably not like the most Is that from um a place we on, on the pines? Yeah, I'm going to rewatch that tonight so I don't worry before. Yeah, he's a daddy. That's great. That's where I met Ava Mendez, I believe, his wife. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's he's the man. He's I gotta, skinny. I gotta he's skinny for me, but I can look past it because he's got everything else is amazing. Strong arms, and he's yeah. He's he's definitely he's a hunk. Great. He's a hunk. He's a real deal for sure. That's why, like, when girls are like Timothy Chalamet, I'm like, get no, the fuck out of here. No, he's like a lady. Yeah, he's a little lady boy, a little Thailand lady boy. 
compared to Ryan Big Cock Gosling. <laughs> I gotta watch it. I saw a lot of like little funny clips. I was like, oh, let me go back but and watch it. You have to like, did you watch the first time he was on? Probably. You have to watch that again first. What I really love watching, which I probably shouldn't say on air, is like his old Mickey Mouse Club shit. I've I've like uh, I've skimmed. Cause he just I've like comes out of nowhere it. singing "Boys to Men" and stuff, and you're like, look at this little honky, and he fucking nails it. He'd be like singing to the bitches, and he's like twelve. He's he is great and dancing and shit like he does like all those like you know uh, Rick Ashley kind of dancing and he grew up like uh, he was I, I know a lot about him because I watched a million of his Me interviews too. but so he grew up with a single <laughs> mom oh really and he says that the reason why he this is the worst oh, this is the worst episode of the show we've ever done no it's not uh, <laughs> we're exposing that Bachelor, Ryan Gosling's half how hot, black how hot Ryan Gosling is <laughs> um, our diets or lack thereof um, so he said that his mom he had like a Po- like a potty mouth when he was little uh-huh. and that his mom used to punish him by saying you can't watch any movies this week and that's how he like discovered how much he loves movies wow and then like that's how he like slowly got into acting and whatever no one cares there's gotta be something wrong about him no he's perfect it's gotta be maybe he's got like a micro penis impossible 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 okay ryan gosling <laughs> snl check <laughs> what else do we have here um do you, i've noticed on youtube Cops are doing podcasts. Uh-huh. I didn't think this was a thing. I haven't been trying to reach out to cops to do this show, even though I want to so badly mm-hmm. to go over some body cam footage. But I assumed that while they were still currently employed by whatever PD they work for, that they couldn't speak publicly. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I you always. I always feel like they'll be retired or something. Like the cops no, are like retired guys. I saw. It seems like some cops are starting podcasts, mm-hmm. and then other ones I've seen guesting on podcasts so listeners if you're a cop or you know a cop and it's like okay with their department write in because we want cops on the show yeah we can definitely get some cops let's get some cops let's get some ask the um are the cantina boys there's got to be some cops I mean, running those, those guys are pretty much cops like, that's <laughs> yes. what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like you know the other day i yeah, made like sausage it. and they, this guy on a scooter i ran him over but you know we did overtime and like, yeah eric adams sucks i don't want to hear them talk about making sausage though I made a sausage the other fun. day. Memorial Day. You coming over Memorial Day? We make a sausage. Uh, do we have the baby video? Did you find <laughs> the spot? And then we'll move on. Does everyone hate this? <laughs> okay, so they, they they maced her and now they're pouring water on her oh, yeah. face. She got Ryan's tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my birth's so bad, baby. Baby. Baby, please, baby. Does this not... I remember saying that. Who is she saying baby to? Just the cops. Uh, She's just calling them baby for no reason. I feel like this doesn't strike anybody else as funny. (laughs) It's funny, but she's she's like... uh, She's drunk. She's drunk, but she's also kind of like, please, like, like, don't take me to jail is what she's trying to say. Baby? Yeah, she sounds like a prostitute. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she, she didn't start that way, though. Like, she started really shitty, which is what got her maced to begin with. Okay. Sometimes, you know, we should be able to fucking mace people with no no hesitation. Um, Certain states, you can as self-defense. Not here, yeah. though. What if a person's walking around on speakerphone? Can you just fucking mace them? I, I think that should be allowed. That should be allowed. Speakerphone is so bad. There's so many words I want to say, but parents have told me not to say them anymore. <laughs> but it starts with an R. And if you're on speakerphone, you're you're that. I it starts or ends with an R. Sorry. It starts with a hey. <laughs> you're great. I'm sorry. Uh, no, <laughs> Shannon, that's, that's the shady I like. <laughs> starts with a friggin' R, man. They all they come in all different shapes, sizes. I was like, what are you doing? Crowded training. You got a fucking speakerphone. I wish I could just fucking. I was just at. Mace you. I was at a spa the other day. My aunt treated me to a spa day. That's wonderful. We went to the spa. No, no, Joe. Sojo. No, actually, no. This is in, okay. It was in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, so we went to this place, and after we finished most of our like treatments, they mm-hmm. have like a like a bar, a little restaurant inside, Cute. but it's inside this whole spa. Uh-huh. It's sort of quiet, peaceful, nice little music playing. Oh, so we're sitting, down, we're sitting down. We're sitting down, waiting for our food, having a little drink, and uh, there is a couple sitting right behind my aunt. You can guess the eth- ethnicity. And Guys, this is the Kumia is. <laughs> guess the eth- it's ethnicity. It's time for Kumia things. And there is a guy sitting with his like wife, girlfriend, whatever, and he is on speakerphone. It doesn't make any at sense. At a spa. It, it makes no <laughs> sense, Shannon. It what makes kind of the, behavior is this? There's red flags for people with mental illnesses. Speakerphone. Big red flag. 
If you're cooking, you can be on speakerphone. If you're driving, you can if be on speakerphone. If you're in your home. If you're in your home, you can be on speakerphone. In your home you or your car. That's it. Doing, that's it. There's no Maybe reason. if you're walking down the street. Maybe. Maybe. If you're on the sidewalk, it's already loud. E- even then, you're on a sidewalk. There's so much like noise yeah. around you compared to having it like this or having it on your headphones. Why? What? Does this do? Does it look cool? Like, I know the Nextels look cool when we were young. We had like the... Yeah, we were forced to. And it was like a radio walkie-talkie. That was kind of cool. But anybody on speakerphone, you should just... it. We need like Chinese police that will just fucking make people... Like throw people in a hole. Chinese in China, police? they do that. In they China... throw them in a hole for talking Chinese phone? communist police, if you fuck around, they will just make you disappear. And that's what we need in New York. That's what I think this whole... Con- I mean... Go me, tell him Trump. Go. For sorry, it. the whole country, and I'm just saying this just because currently the yeah. YouTube rabbit hole that I'm in now is sovereign citizens and First Amendment auditors, uh-huh. and so I'm just seeing the people that are like the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cops that are being like the best. So it's just yeah. like this subspec, subspec. Yeah, yeah. And I understand mm-hmm. not all cops are this way. Some mm-hmm. are very shitty, bad day, abuse, brutality. I get it. Yes. However, in other countries, they're way worse than here. Yeah. So it's like if they speak, yeah. if yes. they speak to you a little harshly. Just deal with it. If they ask you for your ID after you've been pulled over for speeding, just give it to them. Stop being yeah. such an asshole. If you're in the middle of the road in in a in a in a fucking in the backwoods of some crazy I don't know state, and you feel nervous, I, that I could kind of like understand. I don't know, maybe you know, but in America, I think you're cool. Like if you're in fucking Mexico and a cop pulls you over in the middle of the road, they tell you like stories like just fucking drive, you know, whatever, because mm-hmm. like this guy might traffic you or something. But in America, like I think you're okay if you just fucking listen. You know, it's also, put your camera on. Worst thing you do, yes. put, put your fucking camera on and that. record it and just fucking go. Okay, let me let me comply. It's also like a lot of the ones that I've seen like claim, oh, I, you're, I'm scared because you have a gun or whatever. But also the way that they're scared is by saying, "Fuck you, get out of my face. Yeah, I don't have to fucking listen wild. to you." That doesn't seem like the words of someone terrified. That seems like the words of an asshole. All you have to do is go you're to Instagram Live. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. There's a lot of there's a lot of psychos. But besides that. Fucking, we need to look at like mental illness and we need to look at the flags and fucking speakerphone is a big one. If you're a child, fine. Oh, you're a kid. It's fun to go on speakerphone when you're a kid. Well, look, it's like a radio. But if you're fucking 17 years old and you're on speakerphone, I'm sorry. I think like the only, so I have a little, I give a little bit of leeway to old people because if I'm on the bus and mm-hmm. I hear mm-hmm. speaking. Yeah. I automatically look, and if it's like an old person, I'm like, they just don't understand. Yeah, that's like that's like natural. That's like natural, like law. Like you should just be nice to your elders. Like that's it. Like they're old. It's still annoys. They're me. gonna die. Like it's like, all right, the old guy can't do anything to you. He can barely move. He's not a threat. But when you got that crazy guy on speakerphone walking back, full energy, a grown man or woman. You're like, oh, this is the person that ends up cutting somebody or ends up pushing oh, somebody. I don't even think that. I don't even think it through that far. I just think like, why do I have to hear your thing? Yeah, if everybody, they're looking for attention. Yes, if they're everybody crazy. decided to do this, what chaos there would be on this bus right now if everyone wild. was just talking on speakerphone? Yeah, I can under. I I always think about like if I had money. Yeah. Um, what I would do is just like put like. 10 pairs of headphones in my bag yeah. just to be like <laughs> oh a dick god. and walk by and be like you obviously don't have them oh my god and then these. you're the Here karen you and you're the and you're the problem and i'll record it when i do it every single time and make a youtube channel of me giving headphones to people that are on speakerphone that How might fun be would it that be, that'd be you don't need a security guard but that'll be that'll be great uh, and i'll love that part too yeah yeah it's gonna, we'll bring rob guard. rob rob a drummer Big, bo- big fucking body rock. Have just him in a give little headphones. hat. <laughs> little hat. Little hat. Really tight fucking short, short police things with the baton. <laughs> yes. And then you just go to black people and you give them headphones. <laughs> and, then, and then rock. Yeah, Hispanic people too. 100%. Yeah. I, I'm going to say this right now. Majority my people. It's Majority my Puerto Rican brethren. Half, half and half, I'd say. It's half and half. It's any crazy person. You just see the money. You're like, what are you doing, man? Come on. That and then the person that has the dead leg that makes the whole subway stink. The guy you ever you ever experienced the person with the dead limb? I don't ride the subway or anymore. Or the dead foot? Oh my god, man. There's so many it happens once a week where you just you start to smell. You smell it smells like sour milk. Right away. You smell that and you go, Oh, someone's approaching. And then you'll see a guy coming and he'll have like one part of his body is just mutated and dead. That guy just just get rid of him. Like, or get him in a hospital yeah, and try to recover him. All right, you want to be, a... let's be Gandhi. All right, put him in a hospital <laughs> a and, and, put, and put him in dove like a fucking duck that's been caught in oil. Put him, give him a nice little dove bath and see what happens. Dawn. 
Dawn. Dawn oh, yeah, dish sorry. Soap. Yeah, I have no <laughs> Dawn. I went Dove. Dove, Dove, is soap. Dove. Dove, Dove is soap. Dove is soap. I don't think it washes. But I'm thinking of the little off. ducks that are like. Yeah, they like they like Dor- submerge Dorn. him in the Dove. Palm olive. <laughs> the palm olive. Yeah. Yeah. This guy needs a little bit more of palm olives. He needs to get killed by Chinese government. Wow, that's a lot. You, those are two complete extremes. Help them, be nice. Help them in the hospital or murder them. <laughs> or just murder two them, options. Like, what are they? What are they? What are? They, it's a waste of space. Okay, but maybe if they got a little help, yeah. they would turn their life around and do something great. For maybe society. I think give them one chance. Give yeah, them one give chance, them chance for sure. But you look at these guys, and I was like, you've had, you've had more than you've had. You have had to had a chance. You know, like you know what I mean. Because New York gives you a chance, which is why all these immigrants are coming here and everything. Yeah, well, they give, they they give, give immigrants you a, chance. a chance. They give homeless people a chance. If you're homeless, right, they give you like one chance to do right. But I think the – we're talking about a whole bunch of stuff we don't know yeah, anything Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, but I do, <laughs> <laughs> I do think that the homeless shelters are overcrowded. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now they are. Yeah. Now so they maybe are they don't time. have a chance. I, I don't hear know. Penn Station's wild. I don't know the answer to any of this. Yeah. I do know that there is a lot of um, – Immigrants roaming around. Yes, we're here. If you want to move on, uh, I could tell you that the chat seems to agree with Figs and that the fat burners are cheating. That's Thank you, chat. Then you can't have coffee. Thank you, chat. But also the fast support is kind of hurting my feelings. <laughs> yes, a little bit. They, they really. Yeah. Everyone is really leaning on your yeah, side. That's here. how I know. Like I was expecting one guy to be like, dude, you're not even that fat, and none of that. It's just like I used to be as fat as you, and this is what I did. Here's a link to a fat support group. Hey, Fig, you need help? <laughs> join, join my Discord where we all we're all fat, and we'll help you, Fig. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh wow, I thought I, I thought I was. I thought I, you know, wasn't that bad. You go in the same place as the dead leg people. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the dead leg is the one who's reaching out to me. Hey, brother. You need a chance. Hey, <laughs> buddy, buddy. You need one chance. Call me. I'll, I'll p- p- answer me on speakerphone, <laughs> brother. So I will stop taking the fat burners if Fig stops drinking coffee. Oh, no, but I love coffee. It gives me energy. You can Are take you a fat okay? Burner. Okay, so Fig is okay with this. So stop taking his freaking side, everybody. Yeah, stop taking my this. side because the two things are going to happen. I'm gonna, You're going to find me dead under a bridge in two months I'm or I'm going to lose some weight. One or the other. You're gonna, you're gonna lose some weight. So the floor in my house in my bathroom is like I think giving. Uh oh. And, <laughs> keep, and a the, and the, and the, and keep a camera on in there. And I'm and I'm the heaviest one. You keep a camera on in that room. Just face it at the floor so the we don't funny, feel like naked body parts. The funniest parts. thing is gonna be if my mother-in-law, who's stunning, looks like Dominican Storm, Storm from the X-Men, mm-hmm. it's big beautiful white hair. She looks like Dominican version of that. She's going to one day be brushing her teeth and I'm going to fall through the bathroom <laughs> butt ass naked little tiny baby cock uh-huh. full of hair and Gross. I'm going to and 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 and, and it's going to be hysterical because I'm going to be insecure that she sees my penis and I'm probably going to have a broken leg. So but if that happens a great camera. content. Yeah, you got to get a camera. You have to get a camera. I got to put a ga- camera in my mother-in-law's yes, bathroom. Yeah. Please. Good just idea. Like, just for me in case I fall <laughs> on the floor. But just like face, no it, like, other reason. face it up towards the ceiling or something so we're not seeing her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> but like Shannon did it, everybody. <laughs> okay. So we talked about Gary and Teresa. Gary, that's heartbreaking. Poor Gary. All right. I think we got to most of the stuff. So I have in the dating se- a section, unless you want to do, will you tell me when you want to do presents? You, you drive the, you drive the ship. Okay. So in the dating section, I saw this one story. Um, so I think, Natalie, I think I sent this to you. It's the ghosting thing. So let's see how much of this I get right. I just kind of skimmed the article. So I believe that this guy met a chick. I think he lives in her, in her, in, sorry. She lives in his apartment building. I had a Good. stroke. Okay. <laughs> everything Habs everything went black. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the trades. Just kidding. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Got that out. Got all this out. We're starting again. Kumi is going to be the name of this episode. <laughs> no. His special guest, Anthony Kumi. It's going to be us two, and we're going to put a picture of Kumi, and they're going to be like, was Kumi there? And then you're going to listen, and be like, Kumi there. Yeah, so was when we there. say the bad things, we put him over us with our mouths, like what Aaron Bird used to do. <laughs> the aura of <laughs> Kumi. That was so much fun. Shout out in hot water back in the old days. Uh, Kumia has been on the show before, by the way. I think during a pandemic days. A legend. He's a legend. It's crazy. He's a legend. Um, what am I saying? Okay, so <clears throat> both live in the same apartment building. They're like flirting a little bit. I think that they started following each other on Instagram uh, a little bit. I don't know, Natalie. Can you maybe do a better job than I am over skimming the story? Or- do I have the right one? It, it it's ghosting. The ghosting and it, yes. he's... Uh, I don't see any of that here. Oh, did I did I make this one up? Oh yes, you're right. Okay, they okay. did meet in his apartment building okay. four months prior, but now he thinks he should have seen her red flags, quote unquote, a mile away. And then, do you want me to read or skim? 
Um, let's see. I'll just keep going by what I think I remember, and then correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. So, um, so he said they're like flirting a little bit every time they'd see each other, mm-hmm. and then one of the so the first red flag was that he he so they followed each other on like Instagram and maybe Twitter or something, and then he went to go follow her on Facebook, mm-hmm. and she said to him, "That's a privacy breach." Okay. That's the first red flag that he says. The second one was that he said that one of his friends was out at a club. Did you hear that sound? What was that? Did you hear like a screech? Okay, Maybe we're going crazy. Chairman. We're both yeah. going crazy. So um, he said that a friend saw her at a, at a club and uh, told him about it. So he was like, oh, hey, were you out at this club? And she got mad at him for another privacy breach. And then I don't remember what the third red flag is. Do you see that there? Um, okay, as you look for it, I'm just going to say yeah. that from his perspective here, the way that he's phrasing it, Seems like maybe she's overreacting. Reacting. However, from the girl's point of view, if I'm just being friendly to a guy and he's interpreting it as flirting, that's that's kind of like on him for misreading it. And then if I'm just like friendly with a guy and then all of a sudden now he's following me on Facebook, I'd be like, that's why do you have to follow me and everything? And then also, and then if like if this random guy is like, oh, my friend saw you here. Do you go there? I'd be like, I mean, whoa, because yeah. we live in the same place. So now yeah, you're I getting agree. too close. I, I don't remember what I don't know what the third read. Do you see? The it's third funny. One? It it says two. My friend saw her at the club. I asked if she went, and she blew up another breach of privacy and trust. And then it says three. Another bullshit red flag of an argument. Oh, okay. But it doesn't say what the argument is. <laughs> oh, so this, How this long they knew each other for? I think four, four months. Three, four months. They had been talking for four months. Talking for four months. How many times have they seen each other in person? I think they on? just like pa- in passing. Yeah. And then he said like some. They DM'd a little bit. And then I believe they hung out once, I believe. And then afterwards, she ghosted him. Yeah. And then when he tried to reach out to her, she said um, something to the effect, do you have this this part? Yeah, send me $200 and I'll tell you why I stopped answering and then drops her Venmo. Oh, wow. So she Did wants to it? charge him. No. She wants to charge him $200 for yeah. the explanation of why she ghosted him. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. Like, how many how many signs do you need to see that this girl doesn't like you? Girl, if girls like you, they react fast, like majority of the time. That's just like common knowledge. But a lot of men make the mistake, especially when you're single and you're desperate and you overthink. You're like, "Fuck, should I send?" I have a friend of mine. He will like a he will, and I had to tell him to stop this. Good looking kid. He will like a girl. They will talk a little bit, and then to show that he likes her. He will like all her photos. That is crazy. Do you Dad, tell him this that. is crazy behavior? And I told him, I'm like, dude, you look crazy. He's like, I'm just, I'm just saying, I admire her photos. Like, I, I like her stuff. Like, I took a moment to look at her stuff. I go, okay, like one photo, and not Leave from a, five years ago. Yeah, <laughs> like, like one the, from today. Like a common photo. Like, you know, uh, throw something in there. Throw a fucking, you know, some bait. You know, if she puts a, she's cooking fucking something, and be like, oh, I like to cook. You know, something like that. He would like 40 of them. And I said, dude, you can't. That right That's away is you're crazy. Yeah. Instant block. You said he's good looking? He's very good looking. Yeah, yeah. He's is a, he, he's what's, a how tall is he? He's, he's shorter than me. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Sorry. He, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, anyways, but this guy who's talking now, Facebook is, yeah, a lot of that stuff is personal, especially if you don't know somebody. I don't want you. I deleted Facebook because of how personal it is. Facebook is like, look at me when I'm seven. Look at my mom and my aunt and my uncle. I like, I got rid of that shit fast. Yeah, Facebook is for for real friends and family. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. whenever. And I'll post in like like uh the like the pages like yeah. bonfire skanks rap whatever. Yeah. I'll post in there, and then after I post, like people will then try to like follow me, and I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just like mm. that's like for me. Yeah. And then like Instagram, Twitter, whatever, that's for everybody else. But yeah. like I just don't. Yeah, it's a, a different thing. Also, like getting that, mad about it is like the face. But I, I have a feeling this guy is like a creep and just doesn't you know. Gotta how to be cool, man. If you're yeah. a creep, just be cool, man. But they be don't. They don't cool. know the difference. Because they're a creep, they don't know. Yep. And I don't know that they're necessarily being a creep. I just think yeah. it's like a so- socially awkward and just don't know how to proceed. Yeah, Especially, he's acting entitled though. Like that's I like deserve insults. to do that. Yeah, like yeah. why would you? You gotta talk to some women as yes. friends. Get a, yes, get a female. Take friend. a moment to yeah. think about how they feel and how they're perceiving you. And then go, oh shit, I liked 40 of her photos. She might think I'm crazy. Let me not do that. But this guy that you're saying, and you've even told him, and he's he still. No, oh, he, no, he, he did stop. He, he, got, okay. he got really cool about it. He, he he was so nice. Like he was talking to a girl, like bear, like just going. And talking is like a, a broad term. Like what is talking? Yeah. You know, when I think of talking, talking, it's like messaging, like mm-hmm. just text messaging, getting to know each other, like small talk, whatever, right? 
um, he uh, liked this girl. She re- she was replying to him. They were cordial, and he um, found out that that uh, that she loved bumblebees. And then through her story, found out her birthday was coming up. So he found her job and sent Oof. her an umbrella with bumblebees on it. Like, hey, from from uh, from John, uh, knew it was your birthday, you know, whatever. Okay, and, wait. and that's kind of a nice, it's a sweet thing, but it's also wild. Yeah, it depends on like, is this just someone that they, they met through social they media? They met through social media. That's they don't know each other at all. Not okay. Or maybe maybe a friend recommended her, whatever. I don't even know, but they've never seen each other in person. And you do something like that. How do you get the address? Yeah, finding the because, job because is weird. She, because she would, the person would be like, at, at work today, come on by and get your nails done You know, on at this place. So he knew that she worked at, a, let's say, a nail salon. Okay. So he sent the gift to the nail salon or like flowers for the birthday or whatever. But he wanted he didn't want it to be flowers. He wanted it to be more personal and he sent that thing. The fact that she makes it public where she works, I mean, that's le- – like like if people hear Valentine's Day send me stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like that's not – that's a, that's not as terrible if she's yeah. making it public where she but works. But you got to know because of the world we live in, there's always that little cloud, that little thought bubble that goes – Is this person going to kill me? Is this person going to kill me? Yeah. So you have to try to like – do something nice. With you. I don't know. Yeah. I think you have to try to see the person, per- get in contact with the person, talk to them or see them in person before you do something like that. So they can kind of like uh, relate the gift to that person's face and know, oh, this person is not crazy. You know, yeah. I don't know. It's still, it's really, it's tough. It's not easy. You got to just be cool. You got to be cool. If the girl doesn't like you right away, leave her the fuck alone. And if you leave her alone for months and then she comes back to you, then you go, oh, okay. Like, you know. What was her response to that? She eventually, she, I, I, she just like t- totally stopped talking to him immediately. Yeah, she didn't give it, and then and then he would tell me like, "Yo, I did all this. She didn't do anything." This is the same guy. Same guy. Oh, uh, he, I, I, she did all this, and I didn't. She goes, "I did all this, Mike." He told me everything he did, and he was like, "What do you think?" Like, she's not even talking to me, but she's, re- you know, but I really liked her, and I go, I go, yeah, it's done. If she's not talking to you, you know, and he wasn't pressing like the messages. He wasn't going too far. Like, hey, do you like my gift? Why do you like my gift? Why aren't you talking to me? He wasn't like that. He would. He was. He was kind of like cool, but he did all those things, and then I said, "Yeah, you might have scared her away. You might have pushed her away a bit." He does. He have like a hobby. Yeah, he does have. He does have. So hobbies. He's like a dec- like a decent guy. He's got yeah. a life. Yeah, yeah, he's got a great life. He's a great. He just needs guy. a chick in his life. He's just a little bit. He's just a. He's had kind of a rough life, mm-hmm. and you know, he definitely didn't have the easiest life. And he, uh, but where he's at now is incredible. He's a catch to any girl, mm-hmm. anybody. And uh, like he's financially, physically, everything about him is great. Uh, but he just, but yeah, but but he actually, but he's gotten better since then. Mm-hmm. This was this was six years ago. He's gotten he was in a relationship since then or whatever. So he's gotten better. But now he's single again, and he and I, and, you know, and he and we talk, and I could tell he's like, kind of like hesitant. He's scared because he's the type of person that wants to show, hey, I'm this is ty- this is who I am. I will go above and beyond. I'm better than other guys. Mm-hmm. I will I will impress you. And sometimes I'm like, you gotta know when to do that stuff. You gotta know when to throw those tricks out because a girl think you're crazy. Yeah, you know? it's hard to like ride that line, especially at the beginning. But it's both ways. I mean, guys, yeah. the same thing. It's like a, there are plenty of like women that show their interest too much at the beginning, yeah. and the guys like no, too much. Yeah, it's yeah. like everybody kind of like wants a little bit of like a, yeah. a, a chase and then a, a pullback. The it's all about yeah. The, yeah, you gotta some. It's gotta be balanced mm-hmm. somewhere. And it isn't like people always say like, oh, I don't want to play the game, but there is a game to be there played because everyone is kind of like fucked up yeah. mentally, emotionally, and like no one can except for the people on Love on the Spectrum. Mm-hmm. Those people, you can be like, I met you, I yeah. love you, let's yeah. be together. Yeah, which That's is beautiful. it. Yeah. Everybody else, you have to like, you have to play the game. And a believe bit. it or not, that game. That game goes to every type of relationship in your life, with your family, with friends. Me and Lewis, let's, uh, for example, me and Lewis. When I first met Lewis, I him a bubble bee umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I gave him a bubble bee umbrella. When I first met Lewis, I didn't know what his life was like, whatever, and he did a lot of great things for me, and then he kind of stopped. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? I was like, well, did I do something wrong, whatever? And I kind of bug- bugged him, and he's like, dude, uh, you're fine. And I realized, like, just fucking take it easy. You know, I'm a young comic who's overthinking and very insecure. And I'm like, all right, let me just be cool. And everything's fine. You overthink things sometimes. And you got to yeah. just be cool in all of your relationships, you know? Yeah, you have to just like um, not take everything personal. And not take everything personal. Yeah. And just be patient. Be mm-hmm. patient. Don't burn a bridge. And you could burn a bridge by liking a girl's photo 42 mm-hmm. times. You could burn a fucking bridge. It's like a, when I, um, I've learned through like, 
booking comedians for podcasts, I have yeah. to reach out to so many comedians every single week. Uh-huh. And some of them are always like, uh, like I'm, I'm so sorry. Like they, they, they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Or some of them fuck with me. And then they'll be like, when I confirm them, they'll be like, oh my God. And I'm like, just kidding. Cause they know my heart stops when they do yeah, that. Yeah. But I think they forgot. Yeah. But um, I don't take, and maybe some of them do hate me because I'm so obnoxious about it. Cause I reach out. I feel bad for reaching out to people yeah. so much. Yeah. Oh fuck. I have to get somebody for tomorrow because you can't do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. I have to just tell Lewis. But um, I just don't, I don't take it personally at all. It has yeah. nothing to do with me. Even if they do hate me, it's just like, I have to separate myself from yeah, the thing. No, what's the point? You're wasting, you, you know, there's no point in overthinking. I got to find someone for tomorrow. <laughs> Let me just take oh my God, real quick. Um, but so, yeah. yeah. Just got to be patient. Got to be cool. Got to enjoy your life. Got to live in a moment. Got to be grateful. I'm grateful for the people in the booth. Oh, and speaking of that. Especially Jorge. Oh, Natalie is there now, not Harrington. And Natalie. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick. We want to tell you about one of our newest sponsors, which is Capsulite. Capsulite prevents feeling awful the day after drinking. You can take it before and during drinking. It's the most potent product on the market, doctor formulated, supports your liver, and the toxic byproduct of alcohol is actually the cause of symptoms of a hangover and not hydration. So you can't water yourself out of the feeling of drinking. That's right. I love these jaws. I took a bunch of them, and it's during the power hour, and yo, I felt so good. And what I love about them is their little portable packets that look like condoms. So I like to trick girls and go, hey, uh, I got condoms. And then they're like, really? Mm -mm. I'm like, just kidding. I got hangover relief. And they go, you're the beast. We love you, Feek. Oh, you should do this in Australia? (laughs) Yeah, only in Australia, Capsulite. Um. I don't, know, I don't know that that can all stay in there. But, uh, <laughs> but if you are drinking with us for our regular episodes, for our power hours, you probably need a little bit of support. And you can go to capslight.com for that. C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E.com. I think that's right. There we go. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, I, I did it. C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E.com. Oh, I did it. I did it so much better you did, than you. You did perfect. <laughs> I saw it. I gave you the alley. <laughs> And uh, use uh, promo code GAS, G-A-S, for 30% off at checkout. That's almost 50%, Wait, which is almost you 100%. Say? You said 30%, 30% off? 30% That's off. That's crazy for a product that really works so well. It makes us really feel great. We all noticed how much it worked. Capsulite? I mean... You need something that's going to help you get through these episodes. And, and Capsulite, Capsulite is, is going to do it. Yeah. So Capsulite.com, promo code GAS for 30% off. Let's get back into it. Uh, so Harrington is not here because he um, double booked himself and mm. chose BYM over us. How dare he? I mean, how could you possibly choose the most successful podcast? In the <laughs> over us? Um, but uh, so we'll we'll do the gift exchange. I do have some yeah. other things we can go to after. Sure. But um, who do you want to start? I do feel, by the way, so now Harrington is not here. He's in the other room doing BYM. There's two Harringtons. But Natalie is here. Yeah. And so instead, since since Harrington... Um, Accepting the award for yes. Harrington. Yeah. Na- even though Harrington did give us our presents already and it was two bottles of vodka. Yeah. But Natalie's going to get Harrington's presents. Fix up first. Oh, I hope it's two bottles of vodka. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I'm going, I'm going, this is for Harrington, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I'm not going to look just in case. Just in case, don't look. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, we should have we should have done Christmas music. Merry Christmas. Okay, this is, I have it. What do I do? Okay. So explain t- I guess maybe explain it. All right, so since it's not Harrington, you can just show it to us all and explain right, so it. I bought this for Harrington cuz he always has like sh- weird shirts. Did you cut the sleeves off it? No, I should have I I thought I think this shirt's pretty cool. World's dopest dad. That's cute. That cool? I can't he wait for Natalie drugs. to wear that to work. He likes drugs. He's a dad. He's always got kind of like cool reggae things. So he's wearing really colorful stuff. It smells like all the food I cook in my house. I wonder if you can um, <laughs> hold it up and get his attention just to look in that in this direction. Let's see. Did he give a head nod? Wait, he's he's standing up. I think he's coming out. He's leaving BYM to talk to oh us. Oh my god. Oh, wait, he see, do, do you see it, Harrington? Here it he comes. Just come in and grab it. Oh, and no, he's not going to get it. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday. Merry Happy. Christmas. Hey, man. Thank you for the vodka, baby boy. Oh, I love you, too. Merry Christmas. I love do you. Do you, you like it, Harrington? Oh, oh, no, I don't like it. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping me with my career. Thank you for fucking trying to make me a podcast star. Oh, and it fits. How'd you know his size? I think I, I think because uh, we were similar. Do we daddies. have long enough for me to give you my present real quick? I feel like you're gonna hate it and it's very stupid. No, 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 
I'll it does smell it. like frying oil, the shirt. So maybe put it a little, got to wash it a couple no, times. So I tried to ask Alex for help just to point me in a direction. And she never answered me. So, mm-hmm. so it's she, she tried. I know she's she's a mom. So this is what I got you. It's the, do you, Whoa. Like, it's the thingamajiggy. You put it on your head and then you can work on your quickness with punches. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you bounce it. You like pull yeah. it off your head. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Happy holidays. No, because I'm always shadow boxing around the house and Alex yells at me. Okay, so, so if I have this, I'm technically <laughs> you have a, target. a gift from a dear friend. Yes. She can't get mad. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You guys rock. You're the man. I love you. Merry Christmas, Harrington. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays. Okay, who's next? Um, I have you. I got a lot here's, of gifts. Here's for you. my stuff to Harrington. Oh, oh, it's show, oh, yeah. show it go to ahead, us. Go ahead. Is Merry it a back scratcher? There's a back scratcher. Nice. And then a Jets. <gasps> Neck pillow. Whoa. No way. That's way better than my gift. Are both of those things from the airport? No, neither from the airport. Okay. I, think I, can, <laughs> I think I can afford to eat a, to shop at an airport. That's a good point. Oh, wow. Jorge, I, I already gave these guys their gifts, but I also got you a little something. Oh, no. Uh, you, you keep walking around the office like in a boxing stance and, and kind of squaring up with, with Mike all the time. So I yeah. figured you might actually want to try out the sweet science. And what are you going to need to do that? Wow. Whoa. But a pair of boxing gloves. Whoa. Are those Bisbing's boxing, boxing uh. gloves? We can autograph them. They're white. He can't Oh, man, me. that sounds great. Merry Christmas. <laughs> he has to do the rest of his job engineering <laughs> with boxing gloves on. <laughs> Were those free from, uh, from Bisbing? I know he can't hear me. Probably. They're cute. They're cool, uh, They were from Jake. Oh, they, that's, even, that's, uh, not, that's not even better. I feel like he's a little misogynistic, but... <laughs> He's moving the camera. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fun. So might as well give Jorge his. Okay. Or do you want one of yours? I have three gifts for you. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. I gave her. You can. You can give. No, no. You can give to Jorge. We'll do each other last. Okay. I'm really not happy with what I got anybody, but I'm very poor. Okay. I have fill-in gifts for the two of you also, but Jorge gets mad at me anytime I try to give him a gift. So. None no, for him. I what also, do do? by the way, for the listeners, it's terrible that like we weren't prepared to give Natalie gifts because we thought Harrington was going to be here, and now Natalie's here, and I feel terrible. Shannon but... always gives me a birthday present though, which I think is very sweet. Oh, thank you for acknowledging. You gotta, that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take care of you. You gotta come to my job, and I'll take care of you. Now. Hell yeah! Hey, you gotta do a thing, and then <laughs> yeah, you gotta do this one thing, and I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Okay, so go ahead. What's the next thing? Do we go go Jorge? Yeah, Jorge. You know the man, you know you're my sexual icon, so I got to get your shirt with a sexual icon on it, baby. And put your face up, Jorge. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> Let's does go. Roll. Come on, baby. Check the back. <laughs> Even the back. This is some shit that you would rock. Yeah. Wait, can I ask what size it is? Uh, it's a size. You told me to get you a large. Okay. I asked you. It's a large. Is go, that go, the go. right size, Jorge? Yeah. That's put fine. it on. You put the gloves on. You put this fucking shirt on. You show some respect. That's fine. Isn't that cool, right? I and I thought like it was that. perfect. It was like I was like, "Where's the gayest one that he's got?" And this is gay, gay, <laughs> gay. No, Jorge's gonna love to wear that. Yeah, Jorge. It looks like Jorge. Here he comes. Oh, he comes with. He's coming with his gloves. Come on, Jorge. Here you go, Daddy. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your hard work. You, oh, you gotta get in the camera. Thank Natalie, you for, can you thank you get for him all your hard there? work. Thank you for fucking. You helped me with so much. Fig talk. The beginning of fig talk when you were just a little young and you didn't even know how to use the buttons. Now you know how to use the buttons. This beer looks you, great on now you. Now you're getting puss. You ready to fight? Oh, it all matches. Dylan it's all black and white. You ready to fight Dylan Negri in a in a boxing match? I you love you, Daddy. Beat Dylan. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let me help you out there, pal. <laughs> God bless you. Merry Christmas. That's great. Happy New Year. Uh... Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um show what I got, Jorge. Jorge. Okay, so my Jorge present is, it's a package. Whoa! Of a bunch of different fidget toys. Whoa! Whole... That's so good. <laughs> and that's why I was saying Natalie can split this with you. Hell yeah! Natalie is also a fidget toy. How person. many fidget things are in there? Um, um a lot. Hold on, let me see. Oh my can... god! Yeah. Yo, all... are these? Oh wow! Wow. It's all different things. Cause Jorge Tell was, me you're Jorge autistic was, without telling me Jorge, you're autistic. Jorge was playing the other day with a, a <laughs> wow. jewel charger because he liked to fidget with it. And I was like, this is crazy. And so this is a whole box Whoa, of fidget toys. Look at this. Whoa. Play with it. Dinosaur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Oh, wow. It's the world. 
Wow. This is content. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, boy. And it's not going to work with the gloves. Peas in a pod. And can you can the peas come out? Whoa. You could squeeze a little edamame beans. They feel like little hemorrhoids. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Jorge. Good. That'll keep you busy the whole year. The whole year. Merry Christmas, Jorge. So and happy. Natalie. That's what the you people want Natalie. from there, Natalie. <laughs> Give one a Natalie. Yay. <laughs> I have I have g- gifts under short notice that I have for each of you. Okay. Go ahead, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> we should do shots. We should get, we should get pl- This should have been a power hour. I do feel like we should be drinking more quickly. Who should I, who should I get first? Ladies first. Do you want to um, squeeze in here? Sure. Um, at least take a second one, Figs. Oh, I will. Oh, do you want one, Natalie? That's my. That's your guys' gift. Oh, that my son. Happy for Christmas. His, for his headphones are nice. Okay. I'm being censored. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Uh, this one's for figs. I definitely didn't get it for free. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I love this. What is it? I'm not perverted. I'm Italian. <laughs> it's perfect. This is great. <laughs> I love this. Hell yeah. Thank I you. I have that in my car. You're welcome. And then this is for Shannon. It's crazy that these things just exist. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. So these are used. <laughs> no, they're not used. Is it safe to say that use. these are used? <laughs> never never touch my human hands. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I touch them with my human hands. Oh, that's okay. But they're that's new. Acceptable. They're both new. I, I love it. I love I'm it. Gonna use this. I love this hat. When we go to, I'm not when perverted. We go to Skank Fest. This, I'm going to wear this on my way to Skank Fest. Look for me in the airport. I'm wearing this at Skank Fest on the, on the slot machines. <laughs> no, no one bothering oh, me. Oh, yeah. When we all, uh, when, when, the, when the casino well, you guys were kills winning. Natalie. Yeah. Yeah, this casino was not good to Natalie. Oh. The, the casino lifted me by my shirt collar and shoved me in a locker. <laughs> yeah. I only did good because Fig, I was just doing the things Figs was telling me to do. That and then fun. Figs lost and I won $80. Uh, yeah, I want Skankfest. I'm going to have an allotted amount for that. And we got to do that again. We got to do that again. Okay, that was fun. That, that was, was the fun. only like a, a post-curricular activity that I did the entire weekend was slots with you guys. That was fun. It was so night. short. We got to do we got to do like we got to go on a slot journey. Yeah. And then I got yeah. a COVID immediately and died for the next week. Oh my god. After that. Good okay. Time. I'm going to do mine first because like I I don't Wait, can I, can I do mine first yes, since yes, Natalie did her yes. since the other oh, producer okay. did? Yes, why? Yeah, okay. Open your white claw figs. Okay, yeah. Hi. Right. I don't let it dead what are you doing, Jorge? Okay. <laughs> okay, it okay, it's a video. This is the video part of the show. All right. The thing is video. Ding. So, every, every one of Is that mic on? I just sent him a little low. You might be far from it. That's why. They're all two part, two part. So, um, I'll go do, actually do Shannon first because I think Shannon's. I regret my Shannon ones. <laughs> oh, no. I'm terrified. Uh-oh, Shannon. You're just going to be like a little piggy. Uh oh. <laughs> a little Is piggy stuffed oh, animal. Oh, God. You said it's not going to be offensive. No. So, for kitties and also for you. That's, oh, he's going to love it. Aww. Is it um? Little mice. A catnip. That's fun. He's gonna love this. I and like that. Is this the offensive one coming? No, yeah, I, I thought that you were gonna be a sexist. No, no. Oh no, I love. He's gonna love it. It's okay for my for cats to kill mice. The other thing, you got upset when I said uh, I was giving bubbles to little baby Aura. Yes. So yay! Whoa! It's the pink one. Whoa! I love That's bubbles. That's a pro- provocative uh, <laughs> bubble thing there. Join no, I- the. Uh, join the bonus content to see. I love it, and this is the um. I have a sweater this color that I've worn on the show. That's cool. It. You bring it to a barbecue like or something. I'm just gonna just do it by myself in my backyard. That's cute. <laughs> wow. Oh, you could do cartwheels too, like when you were <laughs> I, younger. I can't do cartwheels. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. oh, let's go. Support. Support. This is good. I like this. Oh, I, I like this brand too. What's the brand? Oh, this is the good brand. Shunli, <laughs> Shunli. <laughs> you see that brand? Shungle. I, I see an X at the beginning. This is from the 99 cent store. <laughs> I like it though. I'll use it. And then also fat support. I feel like you deserve a treat for whenever you do decide to start working out. Thank you, brother. And so I figured, Fig. what's, a, what's a good workout treat? Yeah. 
And so I got you. I a much? cupcake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but it's for my doggy. No, it's for you. Oh yeah, it's for me. Yeah. Oh, this is great. So it, it incentivizes a fun workout because it's a cupcake, you know? I love it. This you is You can awesome. only have fun with a cupcake. It's not working out if it's a cupcake. And I love it. just going to be love, chewing on you. I love a cupcake. And you know what kind of cupcakes I like? The ones that have tomatoes in the fucking center. <laughs> That's my favorite cupcake. Would you get this from Honduras? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I love it. My dog's gonna love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, little guy's gonna love these. That's mice. great. Very thoughtful. Very nice, Jorge. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. I'm gonna give you yours. I All think right, it's Shane. terrible. That's okay. I think it's gonna be great. You can't do better than you did last year. So you're already good for a thousand Christmases because last year was so good. All right. So this is um, Magic the oh Gathering my God. mini decks. It's four mini decks. It's collector's items. Oh my God. I love that. They're just like little little bitty. This ones. is fucking gangster. I love this. This is so cool. Is it or are you lying? I swear to God, okay. you could play. You could play. I could play in the car with the little, you know, the little guys, and it comes with the disc, the 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 dice. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You don't got to worry. This is so cool. Okay. A Johnny versus Nico. Nico and it says yes, it actually works. I don't know what it's referring to. Because because the I guess I, the dice. I guess they're gonna be really really small, but yeah. it's perfect because. You know, the real ones are like, you don't want to get them messed up. Like, these are the ones you could play, travel, bring them to hotels. Okay. It's Skankfest. Dope. I love it. <laughs> so Thank you, Shannon. Fest. I love this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's so cool. Here you go. All gift wrap for you. <laughs> One of three. I had, to, I had to try to make up for last year because you went ham. <laughs> then we'll be even. Okay. Please don't tell me you have it already. I already know what it is and I don't have it. Okay. Kind of <laughs> cool. So skank fresh, you're gonna be sweating. You can have the girls out. Yeah, it's a Fantasia from yeah. True Blood. I yeah. love that. Thank you, Google. <laughs> yes, I will wear that at Skank Fest. Kind of cool, right? Yes, I like it. All right. I gotta start go. rewatching this. <laughs> All right. So that's that was uh, that was uh, bad things, and now we're going to <laughs> Fun. relationship things. Oh, is it a boy? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Here we go. This is my rescue dog. Oh, I love it. Turn it around. Puppies. So when you're flicking your bean, you can flick it and also schedule me to be co-host on rap. This guy's got a crazy hairline. Yeah, yeah. But the guy on the right, though. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. This one's good. That's Aww. the main gift. I was like, that's going to be the cool cute. one. Oh, All right. these little babies. And then the final one. And I think we're even. Final kind of thoughtful, I guess, kind of. Well, you know, you like, this one is going to be, this one could kind of be scary things if you really dive deep into it. Is it going to be bugs? No, it's not going to be bugs. It's going to be more like hesitated. spiritual maybe. Okay. Maybe more spiritual. I got to find out. I don't know. I maybe, I don't know if you have this already, something like this. You know, but it will it will help you with your maybe your morning routine. I'm not sure what your morning routine is, even though you just said that you don't drink coffee. Is this co yeah. is it a bunch of coffee? No, no. It's a nice box. It is a nice box. Pretty box. Fashion cup. Uh oh. Maybe I fucked up. Wait, I can't. Uh oh, what is it? Something to put. Uh oh. What the hell is this? I got it from China. A coffee cup. So they're like little tea sets. But they're little cats. Oh, that's cute. And they, st and they stack on each other. Cute. Right? They're kind of cute, right? Yes. Cute. I thought it was cute. Yeah, I can display them. I don't have to use them. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want. I can just want. display them in my little windowsill. Yeah. Cute. And, the, and one is white and the other one I think is orange or black. Cute. So, you know, there's two of them, them, you know. Let's see. Let's look at the other one. I know one of them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's in memory. In memory. Did, yeah. Yeah. There you go, the cute little things. Cute. Really, the first time I when I saw him, I was like, she could drink her kratom out of it, because I know you like that mushy, sludgy kratom. I don't. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. That's gonna be great. Right you in do. There. You do like <laughs> yes. it. And I think it comes with a little spoon too, like a little thing. It's a whole little set. Oh yeah, look here. Look at that. Except these are reindeer to go into the oh. cabinet. <laughs> oh, thank you, China. Oh, China. <laughs> I mean, oh. reindeer and cats are my favorite things. Oh, thank you, Indonesia. Thank you, Timu. Thank no. you. Shout out Timu. <laughs> Hashtag Timu. No, it's all gifts from Timu. <laughs> it's all very cute. What's better than cat? <laughs> what pairs with cat? Reindeer. Okay, put reindeer spoon. There you go. No, I love it. Thank you. Just more shit for your for it's your fucking all, kitchen. It's all great. 
But I was like, the fireman thing is cool. Yes, I love them all. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And hopefully the shirt. Let's uh, see, what size is it? Fucking, your boobies fit in there. What size was it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm never I took a risk. I, th- I don't know. I just, I just, I was thinking get me boobs. Two like XL. No, no, I was thinking boobs. I was like, they're it's you medium. Know. I could probably. I was like, a medium should be good because I know you're small, but you got boobies. Yeah. So the boobies, I mean, might yeah. you know, they might be squished. No, that'd be. You try it on now if you want, and just take everything <laughs> off. Try it on. The fans will be right back, guys. Shannon's gonna put it on Jorge. Oh God. I <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> no, we did it, guys. We did it. We did our gift exchange. How's the chat doing? Is this their <laughs> is their least favorite episode that's ever happened? It's no, they're fun. they're loving how sweet everybody is to each other. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's definitely not what they're saying. It's the really loving chat today. You know? It is a really loving chat. I didn't uh I wasn't in the chat during the uh, power hour stream. I wasn't I don't know where I was. Oh, shout out to Levi or Levi? Levi. 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 He got me a gift. On Christmas, I never opened it up, and I opened it up off air, um, and he also got me some sick Magic the Gathering cards, so big shout out to him. He bought me, oh, and you he, and he got me, if you're watching, those little gun, the little bullet die, dies, dude, fucking sick, man. I hope to see you again. Was he the guy with the Stone Cold Steve Austin jean shorts? Yes. Yeah, he's the man. The one he said it smells nice. good. Yeah, yeah, he's the man, dude. Shout out to you, dude. I owe you. I owe you, brother. Um, I will say that... Um if you want to support us in our weight loss competition, send your donations to... Has anybody sent anything yet? So here's the thing. Um, Harrington sent me $30 the other day, but I don't know if that was money that he owed me or money that a fan sent towards the competition. So I have to so ask him So this is just after. Harrington. I'm not sure. I have to ask him after this because I, I can't remember. Things happen after the show. I don't remember. But um, fans, uh, for the listeners of the show, if you want to support us in our weight loss competition, send them your donation, whatever it is, dollar, whatever, in, uh, to Shannon Lee Ding at Venmo. And I'm going to post every single one. And if you send money and I don't post it, you call me out to keep me honest. What if, what if, it, what if, it's, uh, what if the grand prize is $57? I mean, then that's... Yeah. I feel like there should also be like a side bet between us. Yeah. Like the other person has to like do a thing if they lose. If I lose, I gotta I gotta take the reins of the show. We switch. You Is that come a over punishment here, you for come me? Over here, you come <laughs> over here and relax. You don't gotta do shit. You gotta just do a couple impressions. And I'll fucking do the intros. I'll do the whole Gross. damn thing. The whole the whole shebang. Book the guests. Can I just like you get take you that get a day, day off? You get a day off. Or oh, I don't I have guess, to come I in. Guess, <laughs> I guess you don't yeah, have to yeah, come in. That's I, great. I feel like that's gonna be te- a terrible. You can do idea. that. You could take the day off. If I lose, I gotta I gotta do a whole show by myself, and you get to take the night off. But no, people don't want. No, nah, but people want you here. They're tuning in for you. So you gotta be here, but you're just literally going blind. That's kind of like a prize for you, because then you just get to do whatever you want, and you don't have to hear from me. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. It's like if you win, then you get to just take over the show for a day. Yeah. So it's the I other guess. way around. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Uh, listeners in the chat, you say <laughs> what you think um, the loser should do. I mean, the best thing is topless. I win, you topless. You got to be in a bra. You win. I I'm topless for the whole episode. I don't. We'll talk. We'll talk yeah, more. Yeah, actually, I've we'll done it for free it. thousands of times. So actually, no, I can't <laughs> think of anything. <laughs> um, I do have. Um, there's a listener email for scary things. I think I sent it to you, Natalie, because um, there's some the, some pictures in there too. But if you want to just like read it, and then there's um, my my uncle actually sent me this um, Instagram video of a scary things, and then a fan also sent it. So I wanted to also do that. So we'll just do those two things before we get out of here. Uh, the chat wants to see you in the the cat outfit again. Oh. Okay, so if I lose, you got to go cat outfit. I'll, I'll do the cat outfit again. All right, guys. But then give something for Figs to do if he loses. I mean, if he loses, he has to wear the cat outfit. Obviously. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds, Same cat outfit. That sounds like a yeah. new. That sounds like a new medium is going to be joining us. <laughs> Mr. Gay. <laughs> Kitty. Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty Gay. Did you say fan submitted scary thing? Yes. Montreal it's, Sky. It's from Jason. Uh, <laughs> Jason. Wait. Uh, I don't see his name. I I forwarded it. I'm not sure like what his. Uh, oh, I can't Kitty. even get to it from here. I mean, I want to open it so bad. I sent two. Oh, I, yes. Yeah. Jason. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so just read it and yes, then show please. the pictures? Yes. Hi, Shannon and Mike. I'll start saying I love you both and the show. You guys have a great dynamic together. I recently sent pictures of what my friend from Montreal witnessed in the sky. Now from my friend in Scotland. This occurrence about three hours after. I don't think it's, quote, otherworldly, but it's kind of creepy. 
I've numbered the pictures and I'm sending you a YouTube video to be played after picture two. Once again, the show is great. So much better with Vix. Um, Thank you. Random person. So. Can you read it again in a Scottish accent, please, Natalie? Thank you. <laughs> uh, you can. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it, the text is from the friend. I went for a two hour walk in the woods today with a very light microdose to get grounded. My body's still feeling the energy. Then this, I come back and what is on a caravan as I'm walking by and I have the video. Oh, I think we're supposed to see the two pictures What's first. What's on a before. caravan? Oh. This guy's one already second, loaded second. on mushrooms. So, so this, I this is picture. Th- oh, okay. So here's one. Okay. Um, uh, hath, what's hatha yoga? Is there another word there? Hatha yoga, back I go bed. Is this English? Bucketing. Is this English? It doesn't seem like. Bucketing down it's with like rain. A of a machine oh plane. yeah, oh yeah. Please read it. In well, Scottish. it didn't come and gradually it jolted me out of bed. A big mama started barking. I ran to the window and then I ran outside and my wee little socks caused it. Was well, that was scary? It lasted for four minutes, then just stopped. My body was ringing after and shivering up my spine. I honestly thought I was going to see a light laser being shooting down. It was cloudy and pouring, so I couldn't see anything. Then I got sent this today, so I'm not the only one. I don't know anything that was said there. <laughs> Did you? Do you... Uh, I have no idea. He, he was okay. He's referring to something that's not there. He's okay. like, this thing was there, and I thought it would, light beams were going to hit me. Okay. So they saw, he, this Scottish guy saw something in the sky and got afraid. Okay, but so he's also loaded on mushrooms. Okay, so we're going to see. Or microdose. Microdose. So we're going to see the second picture and then the YouTube video. It's going to just be a, a, an airplane. So I think the <laughs> second one was... He's loaded on mushrooms. It's going to be a fucking kite. I think the second one was the one that I read earlier. Oh, okay. Because he oh. said, and then this, and he sends the video and goes, I went for a two-hour walk. Oh, sorry. They're not... There's three. There's two. Yeah, two is the one that I read already. Okay. Um. So here's the video. There's something there right now. Visually, no. That's it's the sound. Okay. Helicopter above the clouds. They don't see. Or that is kind of weird. It sounds like a, a a boat or a ship. It's pretty long though. The sound. like a bunch of machinery though like who knows what sounds those things yeah, make yeah it's tough. it does sound something when you it watch does. one of those movies when it's like you know fucking arrival or something yeah like or that, what's you know? what's the one with the uh the get out people yeah 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 with Wait. the aliens oh yeah i know um look up uh well, what's it called them is it i know i know you're talking yeah. about yeah yeah but yeah, the that's horse, the sound. Nope. Horses and- nope. Nope. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's the sound. That's when they, they say that in the text exchange. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, okay, so three is this. This Ooh. is marked as three here. That's fun. Oh, that's and, not a video. Oh, that's and then picture. four is, okay. shit you not, looked everywhere to okay, see wait, what wait, was wait. making. It's Scottish. I shit you not, I looked everywhere to see where I'm making a shape shadow. The sun was reflecting off a caravan, but a shape was nowhere. I even moved someone's barbecue their deck to see they're making a shape. I literally froze and I was like tripping. Can you see his face? Have you seen the movie? Nope. Am I special one? This thing was mocking me. I felt like nope. Can we see that picture one more time? <laughs> that number three. So this, so he saw this. Where I mean, the hell is that? That's in the tent. It's like a projection. Is this the same place? This is while the sound was happening. I'm not sure. It doesn't say, but I assume that's the connection there. Hmm. Mm. Let me it's see the one. With the, let me see that alien thing again. What is that? But what is that? Is that like a piece of? Is that like a a garage? What's on the bottom? We can't uh, focus on the bottom. Is that? That's just a reflection. Um. Or a piece of graffiti or something. I mean, it's so perfect. Yeah, though. that's like a garage or something. I really, well, except like, I mean, is an alien coming here and putting a reflection on the wall? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Oh, he just caught. Was that? Is that a still from a video? And he just caught the light mm-hmm. and it formed like Could a. Be. Like the perfect second. Pretty weird. Pretty strange. There's a lot of shit going on in the sky that we don't know about. Like that's like I, I you know, definitely weird. I wish you know. I wonder if that's a video. That third photo. I don't know. All I know is that I'm perverted. <laughs> okay, Italian. so from what I'm gathering of everything that this friend sent to the person who reached out to us, 
the the Scottish friend was saying that it was pouring rain. They were outside. This huge noise started, and they were like, "What the hell is that?" And then he got sent the video that we watch on YouTube. So clearly, he was not the only one in the area that heard the unexplainable sound. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out how the image Where ties were into they? it. Where it looks like a power plant or like a bus station. Oh oh oh. So he sends this friend the video. He sends the person writing in the video, and then conti- goes on to say, when to get grounded, took the microdose after hearing the sound. So they weren't high when they heard the sound. And then they come by, and that projection that we saw is on a caravan as they're walking by. Okay. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot at a similar time. Yeah. The noise is the most... Like, mm, curious thing. The the graphic, the the projection could have just be a logo or graffiti or something that was on the garage door. Like, I don't. Yeah, I do wish that that was a video. Yes. Where we could see that, like, too. to make sure that was like a for real a still image. Same here. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to book the second wrap tomorrow. It looks like we both like broke a pinata and just took everything that was out, <laughs> out of it or something. No. Okay, so there is a <laughs> one other video. It's from Instagram. I'm not gonna even. I feel like I'm okay. So I guess I will set it up because there isn't a setup in the uh, in the caption. So it's like um, uh, I believe it's like this woman's mother passed away, and she's taking like her toddler to go and like visit the grave, mm. and then this is what we see there. Where are you waving at? As this little girl was mm-hmm. about to leave her mother's grave, she began waving and saying goodbye. Oh, it's a little girl's mother. Her aunt was confused by the situation, considering they were the only two people at the cemetery. She steps up onto her mom's grave before leaning her head up for a kiss. She points and says goodbye one last time before going on as if nothing strange just happened. What are you waving at, Leigh? As this that's crazy. That's crazy. That yeah, that's wild. That's pretty. That's crazy. You can't train a little kid to do that. You know what I mean? Here's my thoughts on it. Yeah, unless someone's farther behind and we don't see. That's what I don't like is how they don't pan the camera Mm -hmm. to the right in the exact direction where the child is looking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because the kid is looking far off in this direction. If there is another family member right there behind where they're filming, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're just waving at her, blowing a kiss, and she's just doing the thing. I will say it really does look like she tilts her head to get a kiss on the forehead. But if the other person is like, Blowing a kiss. Maybe this is just like what they always do. I just don't True. like that they're keeping it. I was Why also did... thinking that it, I feel like kids, you're always like, say goodbye, yeah. bus, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. it could be like, say goodbye, stone. Why do they Why do they say that children are more susceptible to seeing ghosts and shit? So two different things based on like what I understand is that one is like they're closer to like the veil mm. because like they're just born into this world mm. and so they're closer they're closer in between. The second thing is that like they're not as jaded by life of people being like, "Oh, that's stupid, that doesn't exist, whatever." Mm. They're just like still open to possibilities. Okay. Yeah, they have actually they have no idea. They're yeah. completely wild. They're just open to whatever. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I crazy. just, uh, that's I just kinda, wish that's chilling. It's like, like, oh shit. I wish they would have panned the camera over. Can also, we see it again? Yeah. Also, just before you play it again, if they're bringing this kid, it says that it's the kid's mother's grave, mm-hmm. which is terrible and tragic. Mm-hmm. But um, if they're bringing this kid to the uh, mother's grave, they're probably being like, oh, let's go see mommy. Let's go do this, whatever. And so she's like. Oh, so she's like interacting with it True. like it's a yes. thing. She's like, oh, that's the mommy? Yeah, so it's like, mommy. bye, so, yeah, see you yeah, yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's also, I think, part of it. Okay, you can play it again. Just the little girl was mm-hmm. about to leave her mother's right. grave. She began waving and saying goodbye. She says she's looking bye. down. Bye-bye. She's looking somewhere else. Her mom was confused by the situation, considering they were the only two people at the cemetery. She steps up onto her mom's grave before leaning her head up for a kiss. There's no one behind those things. She points and says goodbye one last time before going on as if nothing strange Why just she happened. She don't see where she's pointing, though. Where are you waving at? Like? Yeah. Yeah. You don't you see, like, that me. direction. What did the comments say? Nah, can I go back, go back to the... They're among... Oh, okay. No, the comments are all people who have uh, lost people. That's crazy. Yeah, that's sad. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's, it's a little Sorry. dark. It's a little dark. It's crazy. So, but you... This got you, though. It's, yeah, cemeteries freak me out. They freak me out. I don't I'm know. not a big it, fan of cemeteries. They freak me out that there's like bodies underneath it. Yeah. But I also don't think that like if you were 
let's say spirits exist. Mm -hmm. Is that the place that you'd want to hang out? Probably not. Where your like dead body is. Like you want to be where living people are. Yeah. So then what what do you think hangs out around around there? You think like demonic evil? Do you think I don't think anything does. Nothing like grave. Unless it's something that's like feeding off of the energy of sad people. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. I did watch um a scary movie, which was it's a little silly. It's called Imaginary, I think. The, with the with the teddy, the teddy bear. bear. Was it yeah. good? It's I mean fine. They put a lot of marketing behind it, but I heard it was like eh. It was fine. Yeah. It was like um, I mean cute probably isn't the word to so use for a scary movie. For a no, so no, at air, at air. Uh-huh. Coming in. But uh, it was like it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. So it was you you would be like uh, a good movie to watch in the house. Yeah. It's yeah. just a, like I don't get scared, like scared really. Like I'm mm. looking for a scary movie to scare me. Did you see, um, I know you saw it, so I want to know what you thought. I didn't see it yet. The Exorcist Believer. It's like the first thing that pops up on everything. Was it good Did or I stupid? I saw that in the theater with Jay and yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Sucked. Oh, good. Um, so um, I feel like when you're going in to see a movie like that, you think it's going to be the worst ever. Yeah. I didn't think it was the worst ever. Okay. But... It, it was fine. Did you see... Two questions. Did you see The Pope's Exorcist? Yes. What did you think about that? Fine. To me, it was like an action movie. It was like action It was horror. very slow at the beginning. It yeah. took me three times to make it through the whole thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Because like, again, because like these, they don't really scare me. So yeah, I'll just yeah. like, I'll be in bed at night. And when okay. I had Jax still, my uh-huh. cat that passed away, like he would be like my comfort thing. Mm. So like when I- His soul's I, in I the cups. Him thing. I put yes. his soul's in the cup. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I hate to call him a thing. He's my sweet little mm. precious baby. But um, when I would like watch a scary thing, I'd be like, come Jax, come lay with me. Mm. And he would be like my, my little comfort. Mm. But- um. Okay. Uh, so that's when I, I think I watch Pope's Exorcist with him. But um, still, it was just like it took me. I don't know. It's yeah. it's fine. Nothing. Yeah. It nothing really jarred me. I feel like the like um, uh, the exorcism of Emily Rose, like that. I don't know if you did. You ever see it? Maybe I don't remember. Like that. Like there was some like very unnatural movement in there. That was a good one. And um, Paranormal Activity. That's a classic. Yeah. Grave Encounters. Did you ever watch that? Is that like an old movie? It's it's not old, but it's like. Older, it's another like found footage. No, that one got me. Oh, I gotta watch that one. Grave okay, Encounters. Grave Encounters. Did you, um, just because from the hype, I don't know if you've heard of it yet, but I want to see it. Late Night with the Devil. No, they say that that one is wild. Someone I was watching on YouTube today said it was really good. Yeah, they say it's really good. Is that like on a streaming service? It's not out yet. It's gonna be in a in a week. It's gonna be in you the can theater? rent it or buy it on oh. Amazon. It's in a theater now, and they say that it's wild. Like a Nicolas Cage one is a Nicolas Cage movie too. That's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, but no, uh, they say it's just creepy. Late night with the devil. It's like the devil takes over a late night show or something, and you kind of have the perspective of a, of a viewer. I don't know. I have no. I, I like that. I don't really know anything about it. But uh, the guy who's in it, it plays the bad guy from prison in the movie Prisoners. He's like one of the bad guys. Anyways, check it out. And so, like, you enjoy watching a scary movie. I love. I, I love any. I love. I love. I love movies. I'm like my mom used to. Like, if I was bad, she wouldn't let me watch movies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I confused myself. Ryan Johnson, he's the best actor in the whole wide oh, world. Sorry, no. Uh, I love, yeah, I love movie. I love all types. You know, my attention span is so bad right now. So I like movies that kind of like start off fast, like The Meg Two and The Meg One. I haven't watched The Meg Two yet. Oh, that's a classic. I like Jason Statham though. It's instant classic. I heard The Beekeeper is really good too. I watched The Beekeeper. Was it good? It was. It was a movie. <laughs> Fine. I. It's just like if you ever see me, is, is yeah. say me. <laughs> that's it, I'm done. That's that's my slurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever hear me say better than fine, then yeah. the movie is really good. Okay. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I love them all. Sorry, this is my last text. I got to watch Salt Burn. Everyone's telling me to watch Salt Burn. That guy's like licking cum off of a sink or something. No, I feel like I have I no couldn't watch Oppenheimer. I tried. Me either. I was like, all right, well, what's the point? What are we doing? No. I was going to ruin something about an SNL for you. I, don't I care. liked Barbie. Um,. I the hype let me watch Barbie like let me get locked into it, but I didn't like the ending. I thought the ending was fucking I stupid. I liked the ending. It was like Ryan Gosling's an idiot. It was like I thought it was kind of like, you know, they should have gave Ryan a little something, give him some peace. I I wanted her to like give him a kiss and go like I like you for who you are, Ryan. Instead, he tried to kiss her and he's like, no, I don't want to kiss you. But I get it. That's the whole symbolism yeah, that's behind the whole it. Thing. That's the whole thing. I like, get she doesn't it. have to like the guy, even though who's not gonna like? I know. Who's not I, gonna like him? I like the equality. I thought that he found his. I thought that she, someone should have grabbed him and said, "This whole time, like I loved you." Like I don't know. I feel like he's just alone. 
He's going to... Ken got gonna, fucked all over. All the Kens are going to be fine with all the Barbies. You think so? Yeah, they're going to be fine. I don't know. I think, I think, poor, <laughs> I think Ken is like, like, we should go back to Earth. No, the, all the oh, Kens are going to get together. Yeah, I mean, just having <laughs> crazy gay sex. Okay, we've gone so over. <laughs> I really am nervous that this, this is the worst episode ever. It was a chill. It was a chill vibe. This is the dinner table. This is a little chill. Everybody smoke a cigar, relax. It was a relax. It was a, everybody was chilling. Yeah. Presents. Presents. Should we Drinks. say who the guest is for the next power hour for bingo things? And start what? getting it rocking? Yeah. Sure, yeah, why not? What do you guys think in the booth? Should we say it? Yeah? Okay, so for the next power hour, the guest is going to be Chris Vega, Chris from Brooklyn of High Society Radio. So, and he has not been drunk since his sobriety. He's he has drank, mm -hmm. has drinking. <laughs> yeah, he's drunken. drunk drank, stuff, drinking, drinking, drunk. drunk stuff. Um, but he Big has not. Vega. Yeah, he has not been drunk since he's broken his sobriety. So this is going to be his first time. So send in ideas for stuff that I do, stuff that Figs does or says, and stuff that. Chris does or says for our bingo cards, and Who this won? time, <laughs> Who won? Ralph won. What Ralph, he, then me. What did he win? I mean, just win. <laughs> we'll think of prizes for the next one, but and then also for the next one, my plan is, and I told this, but it never mind. It just didn't work out. I wanted to stream the first ten minutes to YouTube so that people can see it. Didn't work out last time, but this time I want to stream the first ten minutes to YouTube, and I want to share the bingo card t for the listeners so they can cross stuff out. Definitely, so that's the sure. plan for the next one. So tune into that. Tell us if you want to do it two times a month. Maybe that'll push us into it. And uh, we're gonna do some plugs. What do you got a plug? Oh, just check. keep supporting the YouTube page. You guys, uh, my biggest episode was with Paco somehow on TikTok. It just cracked a thousand. So I really appreciate that for a show that's just on YouTube. You guys are great. Uh, TikTok, yeah, man. Keep watching that. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, I don't know. Oh, today. So it's gonna be. I know this isn't live, but um, after this. My brother, Brian, is going to come back. Uh, the return of Godson, the Punani Destroyer. So make sure you guys watch that. And if you're in the city and you're a fan, some of you guys have been pulling up at the stand, and that's been cool. Um, yeah, I'm at the stand or the comic strip every other week, and I'm, I'm there. So just fucking come on through. And, uh, yeah, at Comic Mike Figs. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Shannonly6982. Wherever you listen to the show, you can also watch it uh, live every single Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern at gasdigital.com slash live. Use promo code TTI14. You'll get a two-week free trial, which gives you access to every single episode of the show we've ever done, as well as uh, every single power hour that we've done and all of the upcoming ones, well, for your two-week trial, and every single episode of every show on the Gas Digital Network, Legion of Skanks, the SDR Show, Real S Podcast, all the other shows on the network. If you listen on iTunes or YouTube, make sure to rate, review, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, tell a friend. Every little bit of interaction helps the show to grow. Take part in the live premiere every Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, chat with us. Me or Figs or both of us are usually in there. Um, if you have a story to submit for bad dates, bad things, or scary things, send it into the thing is podcast at gmail.com. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll be back next week. Bye, guys. Bye.